in DY community at this time, could we have a moment of silence for why, for Dennis and Yarmouth police officer, Yarmouth police officer, Sergeant Sean Gannon. Thank you. Welcome. Whoops. Okay. Very nicely done. Welcome. Good morning, DY. And what a beautiful day. I mean, absolutely spectacular day it is here in the lagoon. Welcome to the graduation and commencement ceremony for the class of 2018. Class of 2018, today is your day. Your high, school com your high school mission is complete. Congratulations. Now many of you have come up through our school district together through early education programs, Station Ave, Margaret E. Small and Ezra Baker Elementary Schools, on to the Wixon Innovation School, to Mattakees Middle School, and finally to arrive here at Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School, home of the Mighty Mighty Dolphins. The mission of Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School is to prepare our students intellectually, physically, socially, for their roles as educated and responsible citizens. I must tell you I have had the pleasure, the honor, the privilege to watch each of you grow as students and responsible citizens. Each of you has now achieved what I personally know to be one of the most coveted of accomplishments, and that is earning your high school diploma. This diploma is your first key to opening a plethora of doors to unique and endless opportunity. And there are so many opportunities that await you beyond the shore of our lagoon. Education takes teamwork and guidance. Always remember the support guidance and tireless dedication of the educators who taught you and supported you along your educational journey. Many of your current and former educators are here today. Educators, would you please stand that we may say thank you for your dedication to our students. Oh, and let's not forget all those others, the teaching assistants, secretaries, Mrs. Falco and the cafeteria staff who fed us every single day, the maintenance team, Ronaldo, and Mary, who cleaned up all of our messes, small and large. They did. And special thank you, too, to our school resource officers, Nick and Pat, for keeping us safe.
And thank you to our grounds crew, our DY's grounds crew, and so many others who have worked throughout the year to make our playing field beautiful, spectacular, today and every day. And now later today, many of you will spend the day celebrating your accomplishments. Know that your parents and guardians have been by your side throughout this journey. They have guided you, driven you, and I'm sure, like my parents, play, prayed a lot for you to arrive here on this great day of accomplishment. Know that your accomplishment is due in large part to the love, sacrifice, guidance, and mentoring of your parents and guardians. So, how about you dolphins standing up and giving them a mighty dolphin round of applause, can we? Can we? Thank you. Thank you, parents and guardians. To the citizens of Dennis and Yarmouth, we are and we must be intergenerational in our thinking and in all of our community endeavors. This past year, our students from across all grades and all ages engaged with our community members to create and participate in events designed for us to learn from each other. Our student ambassadors traveled with a group of senior generations to the Massachusetts State House as part of an intergenerational model UN event. And in the course of three hours, three hours, they created and passed five resolutions of global concern. Resolutions designed to make the world a better place for all persons and all persons on earth and I have to let you know, I learned that some of our thoughts and ideas from these model resolutions will be brought this summer to the United Nations. Our DY students, K through three, engaged in group projects such as PE PALS with Station Ave Elementary in planting and sustaining farm to table garden at Ezra Baker. And a new tradition started this year on 2008 for the 2018 graduating seniors they marched over to the Station Ave Elementary School and traveled on to Emmy Small and Ezra Baker. And what they did and what I saw was inspiring to the young members of the class of 2027 and showed them the possibilities and excitement of a high school graduation. Unbelievable, and I thank you guys for doing that. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I just figured out how old I was gonna be. Our Dolphin community has continued to provide our students with career exploration through our DY School Careers Program. You have opened up your businesses, organizations, and individual concerns to allow our students to experience a variety of career exploration opportunities, and we thank you. Now, it's no secret that this was a trying season for budge of budgetary concerns across our school district and the communities of both towns, yet together, the towns of Dennis and Yarmouth said that our students are our future and collectively demonstrated their overwhelming support. Makes me emotional and I thank you. <laughs> and this past Thursday, members of our communities, business organizations and individuals who just wanted to make a difference and provide an opportunity awarded our students over two hundred and ninety thousand dollars in scholarships and if I may a quick story one family looking for a school to assist researched our school and after meeting our staff and students chose to make a difference here at DY what started off as a plan to award two scholarships blossomed into six you see all six dolphins who applied spoke of the passion they had for education and how such a scholarship would offer life-changing opportunity. As a result, instead of two, all six were cho chosen to receive $10,000 a year for each of their four years of college. A truly generous and life-changing gift. Thank you, Reardon family. <laughs> to all of you, all of you, for your generosity, an unconditional commitment to providing a life-changing financial and educational support for our students. On behalf of our students, their families, and their faculty, and our faculty, I thank you.
Okay, here we go. Dolphins, D.Y. Dolphins, class of 2018. Let me be very, very clear about this. You amaze me. Because of you today, I wear the ring of champions with you. You have demonstrated excellence in academic integrity and an undeniable, unden, undeniable perseverance of moral character and belief. So let's do a quick recap of your class history and some class statistics. Academically, the class of 2018 demonstrated notable excellence. You were the class with nine students who earned higher than a 4.0 grade point average. And a total of 17 students earned above a 3.9 or higher. A total of 30 students had a GPA higher than 3.75. Now this is a historical and amazing class accomplishment. And know that each one of you sitting there is an academic champion. Outstanding. Now over 84% of you have reported that you will attend college or technical school in the fall. You have been accepted at 145 colleges and universities. You will attend schools across the United States. From the shores of Cape Cod at the community college, up north to MIT, Smith, UMass, Amherst, Boston, Dartmouth, and Lowell, in schools up and down the East Coast. You will spread across the country to Los Angeles Film School on the West Coast, you will go south to schools in Florida, Louisiana, and Alabama. And in the Midwest, they will see dolphins in Colorado, Utah, and Idaho. I don't know about you, but that's dolphins across America right there. <laughs> well done. Side note, this year, Harvard will notably take a back seat to MIT. You see, Alex had the choice of both schools, and MIT will be the lucky one to have yet another DY Dolphin. Way to go, Alex. <laughs> Some of you have chosen to take different paths and are going to attend specialized technical training after graduation. A number of our Dolphins will be entering the workforce in, community, in our community and communities across the land. Three of our Dolphin graduates have answered a different call. They've enlisted to serve our country in the Army, Navy, and the Marines, and I thank you for your commitment to serve. And at this time, if, we, if I could, a little exercise, I would ask that all veterans and first responders stand so that we may say thank you to you and for your service and your protection. So if you would stand, veterans and first responders all, please. While reviewing so many of your accomplishments beyond the classroom, you continue, you continue to inspire your community. This year you brought back a timeless dolphin tradition, a truly inspiring dolphin pride pep rally. Well done, it was awesome, awesome. Now the fall sports, band and color guard took off running and never looked back. The DY footballers, ah, uh, what can you say? 13-0 Mission Perfect Super Bowl State Champions. Hold them up, boys! <laughs> Woo! Now, Mrs. Woodbury refers to the band as the 12th man on the field. And for six years in a row, the marching band and color guard are state champions. <laughs> and it just keeps getting better. The color guard... This, for the color guard, this is their 12th state championship. Nope. Yep, let's give it to them. Let's give it to them. The winter guard is repeating for their third consecutive championship. Mm-hmm. And I have to let you know that this year, our band and color guard even awed the mighty Mickey Mouse with Dolphin Pride. That's right. 
as you march with elegance and championship precision, precision down Disney's Main Street USA. Well done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little quicker through this list. So field hockey, volleyball, girls ice hockey, girls track, and field, all winning ACL championships. Outstanding. The girls track team, well, the girls track team received their sixth consecutive outstanding sportsman sportsmanship award from the MIAA. Well done. That's what it's all about. Now, I... I truly believe that triumph is earned with hard work, commitment, discipline, dedication, teamwork, and dauntless pursuit of achieving excellence. Whether kicking a winning field goal, scoring a game-winning goal or a point, or playing an electrifying collection of notes for the jazz band, you are all Dolphin Incredible. In the scholastic arts, DY students continue to earn gold and silver medals and honorable mentions in the Globe Scholastics. Glenn Knitzoff and John Pecoraro were recognized nationally for their artworks, and their art traveled the country in exhibition. And I gotta tell you, Glenn, while you were here practicing graduation on Thursday, he was also being honored at Carnegie Hall in New York City. You see, Glenn earned a national gold medal for Scholastic National Art Award for his ceramic work. Now, how does one get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, 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 and being a gifted DY Dolphin and artist sure helps. Congratulations to all of our DY artists. <laughs> Class of 2018, you have had momentous achievements, collectively and, and individually. You have been involved in intergenerational events, you once again swept the annual Law Day competitions, Voice of Democracy, the Lions Club speech, and the Veterans Poetry of Peace contest. And you know what? The math team jumped in on this, and they made DUI history this year, bringing home their first win. Nice job, math team. That's what I'm talking about. Now, Boston Globe and Boston Herald All Scholastics, Abby Kreiser, Rob Evans, Boston Herald All Scholastics, Scholastic, Sam Kenny, Sorry McDonald, Boston Globe, Division V Football Player of the Year, Joseph McCarthy, MIAA 2018 Individual Sportsmanship Awards, Martin Jamil, and Christopher Carey. Now the MIA, thank you, outstanding. I didn't know this, but the MIA for their 2018 NFS HS Heart of the Arts Award went to Sydney Berkeley. Congratulations. Now the DY legacy of championship achievement continues to shine bright with the class of 2018. But I want you to know something. Here in Dolphin Land, we have a code, a way of being. The Dolphin Way, be here, be responsible, and be respectful. And while you have all embraced and demonstrated the Dolphin Way, I know that for some of you, just coming to school every day was a challenge yet you overcame struggles that many of us will never, ever know. And you have quietly and respectfully persevered, and you have achieved the ultimate win. In our class of 2018, you're going to leave us with countless memories. Dennis Liu, in his deep, caring voice, saying, have a wonderful Dolphin Day, and a wonderful day in Dolphin Land. Sydney and Paul, in the theater group, rekindled the magic of The Wizard of Oz, including giving the munchkins from Station Have the thrill of a lifetime. I like it. Cappy, all right. And that's Cappy kicking more than just one field goal through the goalpost at Gillette Stadium. Thank you, Cap. I was also honored to travel with many of you as we spread dolphin pride around the world to Germany, Spain, France, and Austria, and recently to Costa Rica. No matter where you traveled, those you came in contact with, they were truly inspired by your thoughtfulness, your kindness, your respect, and the respect you shared for one another. Your accomplishments in the classroom and on the field, courts, the artistic canvas, the musical and dramatic stage, and co-curricular activities has been astounding. You have raised the bar for those who will follow in the educational seasons to come. 
There are so many stories I'd like to tell, yet I must move on. You have inspired your teachers, your parents, your guardians, and community. You give us a beautiful and optimistic hope that our small part of the world and the world at large will be in good hands. Selena Bodie, who will be attending Massachusetts Maritime Academy, told me it was bittersweet moving on. So I want you to know, as you leave here today, take a look behind you at that building of brick, mortar, and glass. Yes, it's filled with many memories, both good and challenging. Know that we will leave a dolphin light on for you, and we will await your return. Come back to say hello, to get some free advice. Come back to teach and share your newfound wisdoms. And many of you know that I like to fist bump those I meet in the hallway, even if I'm saying hat, hoodie, earbuds. <laughs> For me, it's the opportunity to make a connection. And if I never had the opportunity to give you a fist bump to you, well, here it is. Bang. I love you. <clears throat> And that's for, that's truly is for all of you, for you have truly enhanced my life and I thank you. Class of 2018, the challenge, your new mission is to go on to embrace opportunity, to always leave a place better than you found it and to change the world for the better. <clears throat> you have made me a better person for knowing all of you. So until we meet again, remember, once a dolphin, always a dolphin. Congratulations and pura vida. And now, and now, it is my honor, may I introduce the newly appointed chairperson of the Dennis Yarmouth Regional School District, Ms. Jenny Landers. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the DY Regional School Committee, I'd like to welcome you all here today. I am honored to serve as the chair of your school committee. I'm also a proud graduate, DY class of 92, and parent of a student, DY class of 2027, who has met many of you and looks up to so many of you. Um, I'd like to congratulate all of you on this accomplishment, students, parents, caregivers, staff, administration, truly a milestone. I wish you all the best of luck, I hope that you will all travel far and wide and continue to learn and return here to share with us everything you learn on your journeys. Typically, the school committee chair makes remarks today, but today that honor is reserved for two gentlemen who many of you know, my co-school committee members and parents of two graduating seniors, Brian Carey and Joe Tierney. Thank you. Nobody heard that. <laughs> Mr. Morrison, thank you very much. I think you stole my speech that I was writing at about 2.15 this morning. No, don't apologize. Good morning, class of 2018. Before I truly begin, let's give the guy who was your principal for close to 20 years a well-deserved applause for all he has done for you, Mr. Ken Jenks. In addition, I would like to recognize the school resource officers who do things for each and every one of you to keep you all safe. Officers Pat McCaffrey and Officer P Nick Pascarosos. I know for sure they could be sergeants in their job, but they are here with us today. Thank you. 
When the words class of 2018 were said some 12 plus years ago, it seemed so far off. Now you only have a few mere moments left. At first, those years seemed to be like we would have a lifetime together, but it went so fast. This morning, I would like to talk to you about people, people who make a difference in not just your life, but in the lives of all of us. What a great class you are. You really are. Let me reflect and share with you some highlights. It started right here in August. Our perennial marching band and color guard led by Dennis Liu. The fun of watching Summer Walsh, Sarah, and Anna McGaffigan on the field hockey pitch. Admittedly, I know very little about the game except that there seems to be a need to blow the whistle every 45 seconds. <laughs> now into the gym where the digs and sets by Laura Gustafson brought spikes from Abby Kreiser. Who could ever forget the scene at Gillette Stadium of a scrambling Jacob McCarthy and a finding Joey Tierney open on the sidelines and a short run into the end zone? Adding to the points was another point after by Sammy Capo. Hashtag, we don't kick field goals. <laughs> Cold night at the lagoon where the situate sailors had the wind taken out of their sails by Robbie Evans. The concert band brought everyone to their feet at the Gershwin concert with a gorgeous baby grand piano front and center. Jared Stone and Dylan Ruthier were rocking the night. Paul Kroyuk, I miss you on stage. Winter sets in with some hockey from Billy Egan and the girls hockey first playoff appearance. I still would like to see checking in that game. It's not all about sports. Some great things happen down in the art wing with some incredible pieces showing the amazing talent of Sydney Berkeley. On to our third season of grads, of grades and activities. After the past two months and the weather we've had, I refuse to call that spring. So if senioritis has not set in by now, come on, who's kidding, right? I'm sure my house was not the only one that heard from Mr. Morrison. If you are unaware, your son or daughter arrived after seven blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Here in Dolphin Land, blah, blah, blah. God, get me, God, God, children, make it stop. Get to school on time. Where's Christopher? <laughs> Sydney McCain, you are great in so many ways. Martine Jamil, what will you do without me yelling at you? Let's go, get this as you run by thinking, shut the heck up, Mr. Carey. <laughs> Sawyer Adamides, damn, you're tall and can throw that javelin. <laughs> Christopher, what can I say? Right? <laughs> you have more heart and determination. That is your edge, kid. You have made us proud. I will never forget you playing at Gillette. Remembering what the doctor had said eight weeks prior, son, you have a fractured ankle and you're done. You'll not play high school football again. It's okay, right? I could go on on how smooth you are at running the hurdles. One, one of these years we will have a track and field recognition as sport, at least for the boys at DY. By the way, Chris and Nick, Chris, Nick really wants your room while you're at Assumption, and Zach <laughs> is looking forward to playing Fortnite with you. I still would like to know where the, what the town of Dennis put in the water 19 years ago with two sets of twins, Sarah, Anna, Matt, and Jared, not to mention the Sal and Val from the other side of the river. Alex Smith turns down Harvard for MIT. Yeah, that happens every day. <laughs> but make no mistake about it, we are one here at DY. Here at DY, I like to think we represent everyone. There are those among us that really overcame great odds. Really came over, overcame great odds. Seniors like Joe Delancey, Derek Thomas, Kayla Mendez, Corsia Moore, Haley Gregoria, Danny West, Adane Atkins, and Hasey Alves. All of you have overcome issues that some just read about. And for that, you have my respect. I cannot leave out Eagle. I cannot leave out Eagle Scout Jack George. Nora Bowie has been a fantastic president to you all, and her speech to you yesterday was a senior's last assembly was great. With that, you are all very special to me, and I will never forget you. 
Go get them, D.Y. Dolphins. How do you top that? Wow. Don't cry. There's a bet on the line. We're going to try not to. Good morning. It's truly an honor to speak to you all, Mr. Morrison, Mr. Jenks, faculty, staff, here in the Lagoon, the home of the state champion marching band and the Division V champion, Super Bowl champion, Dolphins. You are the graduating class of 2018. And on behalf of the Dennis Yarmouth Regional School Committee, congratulations, as Jenny said. We are very proud of your success. Today is the culmination of 13 years of hard work. It is the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new one. Parents, savor this time. This is a chapter of your son or daughter's that is drawing to a close. However, new and exciting endeavors lie ahead. There have been many great accomplishments to celebrate, as Mr. Carey stated. Also, a few failures that may have grown, it may, you may have grown from over the past years. You were guided by the, the whole way by your teachers, coaches, counselors that are the best of the best. Thank you for that. That is what sets the Dolphin, the DY Dolphins apart from any other school district on Cape Cod. From Mr. Morrison and all the principals you may have had down the line to the lunch staff or that awesome smile and laugh that Ronaldo greeted you with each morning. Today, after all the pop and circumstance, take a few moments to thank them. Their hours of dedication to your success, getting you to this point to sit in the lagoon are worth a handshake and a thank you. I have had the great experience of running boats up and down the East Coast. A very strange thing happens when, when you get down towards the southern states. Often one single dolphin, or a few, or a whole pod will just swim up in front of the boat. There's no reason, one reason why they do this. Dolphins are intelligent, playful animals. Dolphins love to have fun. Hmm, starting to see a little similarity here. Dolphins also ride the wake of a boat in order to move quickly through the water while exerting left, less effort, like a surfer rides a wave. You feel somewhat protected and comforted when these animals are with you. It may be one, it may be 50. It is one experience that is incredible to see for real. So I want to try an experiment, since we've been getting up and down, which is great, some exercise here. I want to try an experiment to see if this may work. I would like the graduating class to sit face forward towards the stage as you're doing, and don't look around until I say so. I'd ask the, any of the DY alumni to stand, and just remain standing, please. If you could just stand up for a second. These are the people that graduated before you. They know the Dolphin Way. Many are your parents and teachers. Now, if I get, get any of the district teachers, administrators, kitchen staff, custodial staff, coaches, to stand up, please. Anybody that teaches in the district, any of our teachers. These mentors have guided you for the past 13 years. Graduates, I'd like to have you turn around and take a look at this awesome site. These are a pot of dolphins that will always be with you, and they will always surround you. They will protect you. The DY Dolphin Pride, as Mr. Morrison said, said son spends from one end of the country to the other. You will always have that connection. You have a lifetime of connections to this school and com community no matter where you go. You may feel all alone at times, but know that, that there was always one DY Dolphin or hundreds that will come to your aid. Okay, everybody can sit. Thank you. I was looking for an appropriate quote to reference to leave you with, just kind of something smart or something, you know. Um, looking through Google and other online references really just gave me a big headache. I stumbled across a book that had the perfect poem. Sammy, you're not going to win the bet. <laughs> it was the class of 1986 yearbook. 
See, 32 years ago today, myself and many people are sitting in the stands. We're sitting in the same exact seats you were. On the back of this yearbook was the poem entitled Success, written by Ralph Waldo Emerson. This poem was relevant 110 years ago. It was relevant 32 years ago, and it is relevant right now. And it goes like this. What is success? To laugh often and much. To win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. To earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends. To appreciate beauty. To find the best in others. To leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or redeemed social condition. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Each one of you in this sea of green before us has succeeded. That is why you were sitting here. Keep succeeding. Learn from your mistakes. Keep your heads high and carry on. Take what you have learned from the years here at DY to be the one that finds the best in others and let others see the best in you. It is important for you to remember something. You may be the only ray of hope in someone's life that day. Personally, I am humbled to have worked with so many of you in so many different endeavors over the past 13 years. I am a better person because of you. Many of you were that ray of sunshine in my life the past 13 years, and I thank you for that. As you set out on your own paths, remember those who supported, loved, and believed in you. Remember that everyone falls on hard times and that it is more important that you get up than that you fell. Remember the sand in your shoes and the salt in, your air, in the air that you breathe. Remember to make people smile and laugh. When today is over, you will become an alumni of Denham Sharmouth Regional High School. Know that Dolphin Pride will forever be a part of who you are. Those of us here will never forget you. You are the class of 2018. Congratulations. And thank you. Now I have the honor to introduce a man who for the last 18 years has guided me along my educational path of leadership. It is truly an honor to introduce our Assistant Superintendent, Kenneth T. Jenks. Good morning, class of 2018. Good morning. Good morning. This morning, I pass on Congratulations and best wishes from our superintendent. Superintendent Woodbury had a special connection with your class. She started in our district the same year you started in our district. And she's that superintendent who actually knows students and recognizes them and can speak with them and talk with them. She remembers elementary school and middle school concerts and theater drama and pretty cold football games and some other games along the way. On and off this year, she would speak when we were at the office talking about, I have this story and I, and I want to share these things and I'm look, so looking forward to this class. Uh, sadly, her mother passed away earlier this week and so she's in New York with her family today and asked though that you understand she's incredibly proud of you and she sends her best wishes to you. Any thoughts and prayers you send that way would be appreciated. It's always a challenge to speak at a graduation. Uh, you know, speakers, we all want to congratulate you and list all the accomplishments. We hope to share a few words of wisdom and yet keep it brief because I certainly know the only thing be standing between those students and those diplomas are people like us giving speeches. So this will be brief. Uh, where to get that quote, you know, those words of wisdom. And uh, 
I thought I'd share a quote from Jimmy Iovine when he spoke at uh, USC's uh, commencement a couple years back. Uh, when you donate $70 million to create a new school at a college or university, they usually invite you in to be the guest speaker. And so he was invited. Uh, many of you might recognize him from American Idol, but he was that guy. He started as a sound technician, meaning he swept the floors and tried to learn the field. Eventually, he's an incredibly talented musician and artist himself. Then he moved in. He created a business and made some good money. And then technology changed, and so he was unemployed and had to start again when he was about 50 or so, which is a scary thought for many of us. And so he created a new streaming music video, and he worked with this company called Apple because he thought the future might be involved in electronic devices. And so in 2014, when he became a billionaire, uh, he started getting invited to speak at colleges. And yet, I think that's that ultimate person to maybe his unusual quote, but it works. Incredibly creative person. Incredibly driven business person. Knows hard work. He gets the world, and he realizes technology is going to change constantly, and he was one of those people who learned that sort of truth that's out there. Everything you know now may be pretty useless in about six or seven, ten years, and so if you're adaptable and always learning, you can make it. You can succeed. And so to share a bit of his quote with you, because that diploma you hold in your hands today is really just your learner's permit for the rest of the drive through life. Remember, you don't have to be smarter than the next person. All you have to do is be willing to work harder than the next person. That learner's permit allows you to drive, but how and where you drive, that's up to you. You know, some of you take those trips, you start with a full tank of gas, you check Google Maps, the GPS is ready to tell you where to go and what to do, you drive carefully and methodically, and then there are others who don't seem to mind driving on fumes, taking random roads here and there and random paths. You see those yellow lights as a personal challenge. And perhaps you drive a little too fast on occasion. The great thing is it's you. You're the driver. You're in the driver's seat. The same with the diploma. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do when you get there? It may be direct. It may take a lot of curves and side routes. It might be a quick trip with ideal conditions. For many people, it might be a much longer trip with a lot of detours and challenges. Either way. It's up to you. And the beauty, you can change the path along the way. Even that's up to you. So you're in the driver's seat for the rest of your life. And that's a great place to be. It can be scary, but it's great. The second part of that quote, however, I also think captures this class more than perhaps some other classes we've seen in recent years. We have a tradition of success here at Dennis Yarmouth. But that second part, Remember, you don't have to be smarter than the next person. All you have to do is be willing to work harder than the next person. And life's about that hard work. It really isn't about being smart or having some natural talent or knowing somebody. Sure, those things give you a little edge now and again and might help you start out. But consistent success, long-term success, it's all about hard work, working harder than those you're competing with. And while I do love the second part of the quote, and the man's a billionaire, so it seems a little presumptuous to say he might have thought of something else, the thing I think that's really powerful is not so much that individual doing phenomenal things, and we should celebrate that and respect that, those students, those people who come, overcome tremendous adversity. What makes this class unique, truly, what has meant that over 100 students and that school of about a thousand students have state or New England championships or awards or recognitions at national levels. You think of it, about one out of every eight or nine students at DY was a champion in something this year. That's unheard of. It's because you found the real power. It's about is working as hard as you can and then working together. Look at athletics. Can anyone argue with the list of successes in sports this year that's about working harder than your competition, but it's about working together. The real power is both. Look at that music program. 20 plus recognitions, awards, titles, and about five years since you've all come through here. The exact same formula. Incredible musicians, always working your hardest, but at the end of the day, it's you working together. 
harnessing that incredible commitment and dedication, and you achieve more than you could possibly have achieved on your own. Theater arts, there are very few one-man shows, if you will. It's really about a cast and a crew and everybody working hard, getting those lines down and working together. The visual artist, some people say, oh, an artist, they're a lone, it's a lone wolf profession. They have a great talent. Individual achievement, incredibly hard work, of sure, gets you there. But that's a bit, it's more complicated than that. You know, there's this old expression, a self-made person. And while that's true, again, in some respects, I've never met an artist or an academic who didn't have help and mentors and teachers and even critics who help you refine your skills. So you work hard, but it's about working together. Even yesterday in those speeches, you might think of academics as a solo venture, but often people talk about study groups and working together and staying after school together and working through it. And I think Joey and Nora both said things to the effect, I need to thank all the people who helped get me here. So even the academic achievement, and this class is a class of academic achievers, it was about working hard, but it was about working together. So the simple message today, you know how to be successful. You've done that for five years here, a few of you six. You've been here, you've worked very hard. That's why there's so many championships and recognitions and an unheard of number of grade point averages over 4.0. Keep that in mind as you go through the rest of your lives. There's nothing you have to fear. You know the key to success, and you've actually had practice doing it. I'm going to wish you all the best. And most years I get to take about three or 4,000 pictures at the high school. And this year has been a little different. So I hope you give me one last indulgence, because I've actually never had a picture of all of you from the podium. So I'd like to do that today. Thank you, D.Y. And now, Mr. Morrison. All right, and now it is my privilege to introduce our salutatorian, the number two student in the class of 2018 who has earned a grade point average of 4.1314. To Sarah McGaffigan. Sarah? Morning. Morning. So I'd like to start off with a quote first by a very famous artist, and it's this. We're here for a good time and not a long time. And our time at DY was indeed a short, good time. I remember sitting in the sweltering auditorium as eighth graders, watching the class of 2014 get their class superlatives and then march out the front door. And I thought to myself, that'll be ages before that's us. But here we are, anxiously awaiting to receive our diplomas and probably hoping that these speeches won't take that much more time. So in order to keep this short and sweet, I'll try to limit myself although it'll be really hard because DY has given us so many things to talk about. We were the first fully integrated eighth graders here at DY. That means we've been together for five years. A crazy mix of Wixon and Mattis kids eventually growing together as one. And I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people will think that five years out of high school might be a relatively bad thing, and I know others would envy us for that extra year. To be honest, I agree with both. While it was slow torture, having to sit in the hallway, waiting for that final bell at the end of senior year, as I look out onto all of you now, thinking about all the friendships we've made, all the memories we've created, and the impact that we had on the school and on each other, I can't help but think that maybe five years wasn't enough. What we wouldn't give to have one more Friday Night Lights, one more chance at a title, another chance to play for a DY concert, or more time in the art wing creating another beautiful masterpiece. 
but we've also helped each other grow these past few years. Matt Crosby discovered Hickey Decorum, so that's a plus. <laughs> Sam Kenny and Ryan Crary, they got even taller. Marley Lynch decided that DY was better than Vermont, but still, I don't think Chris Carey ever did take off those sunglasses. <laughs> We've also rallied at Gillette together. Our boys' golf team beat Falmouth. We cheered as Zenis led the marching band and color guard into another victory. And we've even orchestrated a wedding. I'm not sure how many high schoolers can say they actually planned a wedding. <laughs> and yet, despite all our good times, we've also encountered things that we never thought would happen in our lifetime or in our community. We mourned the loss of Officer Sean Gannon. We protested in lieu of the too many school shootings. And we bared witness to probably one of the most controversial presidential offices in current history. None of our time at DY could have prepared us for those tragedies. But still, we remain. <laughs> what? <laughs> but still, we remain strong and resilient, fighting for what we believed in and never backing down. The roots we embedded in DY, all back, all way back into September 2013 have now blossomed, shaping us into brilliant and irrepressible members of the community. And those roots didn't take on their own, however. Our teachers, guidance counselors, family, friends, that random face you see in the hallway, all have watered and cared for us so that we could reach our full potential. The support system we have at DY is phenomenal, and we owe them so much. On behalf of my fellow peers, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for the endless hours of homework, for the patience you've shown us, for the countless amount of time put in during and after school, Dr. S, and for your unyielding support. To Mr. Morrison, thank you for always pushing us to be our best selves, and we love you so much. To Mr. Rico and the Guidance family, who taught us and inspired us to take challenges head on, no matter how daunting they were. To Ms. Tarion, Mr. Rice, Ms. Mako, Mr. Howell, and every other teacher dedicated to our success who made us realize there's always room to push for more improvement. To my sisters, that it's possible to hate someone as much as you love them, and that no matter what happens, you're never truly alone. And finally, to mom and dad, who've taught me that perseverance, independence, and love are all anyone ever needs. As you've heard in many speeches before mine, life is about opportunities, choices, and challenges. How what we do in high school matters, and that's and can help define us and build our character. Whether it be what you want to wear to school tomorrow, deciding if that homework was actually worth doing, or where you want to spend the next few years of our lives, everything matters. And after today, nothing will be more important than that. We now move forward into the workforce. Some go to college, and others into the military to serve and protect. We've learned that choices can be challenges, that challenges become opportunities, and the opportunities for us, class 2018, are endless. The torch now burns bright before us, and it's our time to take responsibility and show the future and past generations that we're up for any challenge. I've never met a group of young adults more tenacious, more steadfast, or more motivated than the people who are sitting with me today. And if I can leave you with anything after my time here is up, it's this. Please don't let anyone ever make you feel like you can't have or you don't deserve what you want. Because our branches are still expanding and who knows what we could do next. Thank you and congrats to us, Class 2018. Thank you, Sarah. And now, a valedictorian, the number one student in the class of 2018 has earned a grade point average of 4.2327, a notable and impressive, impressive achievement. And I am honored to introduce this year's valedictorian, Alex Smith.
Good morning, class of 2018. Today, I have the privilege to talk about our experiences at DUI and to offer some life advice to our class as we enter the real world. It's hard to convey just how difficult it was to complete what I believe to be the most important assignment I've ever done at DUI. And I've certainly had my fair share of difficult assignments. Yet, I can't help but think about how much of a tremendous honor it is to give this speech. And I will confess that I managed to write the entire thing without even using my calculator. <laughs> Five years of high school, and here we are. We came into this school unsure of what to expect, unsure of where we would fit in, unsure of what to do with the five years before us. Our first year here, we transitioned from two distinct groups of Dennis and Yarmouth kids into one combined class of eighth graders that to the rest of the school seemed to only take up space in the hallway. Um, that was the year that we realized that the kids from Dennis and the kids from Yarmouth were not so different, aside from the fact that no one from Dennis knows where anything is in Yarmouth, and no one from Yarmouth has ever been to Dennis. <laughs> Following eighth grade, we entered our freshman year. At that point, we started to feel like real high school students that had to learn how to balance academics with athletics and extracurricular activities. That year, we got to take real classes, earn grades that actually counted, and gain the right to sit a few benches further back on the bleachers at football games. Then we were on to sophomore year. Not much changes sophomore year, besides the fact that when someone asks you what grade you're in, you have to remember to not say freshman anymore. Um, now on to junior year. Which I, think, which I think is fair to say is the most difficult year of high school. We were introduced to AP courses, varsity athletics, club leadership, and a whole ton of homework. For the first time in our lives, we were expected to come up with a legitimate answer to what we wanted to do with it. Whether it would be applying to college, joining the workforce, or enlisting in the military, I had to put, be put into serious consideration. That brings us to, of course, our senior year. This is the year that we started to make the real decisions regarding what we'd be doing after high school. We slowly counted down the days until we'd be sitting here in these chairs. And yet, after all our hard work, I don't think any of us is any more certain about the future than we were when we entered high school. We still don't know what to expect, where we most fit in, or what we really should be doing with our lives. And judging by the traffic and the intersection between the foreign language, art, and science wings, I'm not quite sure if we ever learned how to walk in the hallway either. Uh, in eighth grade, we only had the next five years to worry about. Now we have our entire lives before us. But I don't see that as a reason to be overwhelmed. Instead, realize that the future is open to you, and your life will be whatever you choose to do with it. Now I'd like to take some time to thank the people that had a strong impact on my life and on my time at DUI. I'll start by thanking the DUI faculty, guidance, and administration. High school would literally not be possible without them. I'd like to thank all of my teachers that I've had the pleasure of learning from, with a special thanks to Dr. S., Mr. Christensen, Mr. Rice, Ms. Ross, Mr. Thompson, and Ms. Mako for always believing in me and simply being extraordinary people. I'd like to thank all my friends for being so supportive and inclusive over the years, and I've made far too many friendships and connections to list out right now. I'd like to thank Ms. Fornoff for guiding me through high school, for always being there when I needed advice, and for being one of the most caring people I've ever known. I'd like to thank my sister for always being there to inspire and motivate me to do my best in school and to attend a good college. I think I did okay at that. Um, I'd like to thank my mother for being the strongest person I know and teaching me that if you hold on to hope, you can get through anything. And finally, I'd like to thank my father for teaching me that if you make good decisions and aspire to be a good person, that you can overcome any obstacle. And I know that if he could, he would tell me that no matter how difficult life can be, you have to keep going and keep trying to be a better person than you were the day before. Which brings me to my final point. Life is the hardest thing you will ever do. It may sometimes feel like the entire world is against you, but you can't let that stop you from living your life. Because when you think about all the things going on in the world, all the good, all the bad, and you really boil it down, all there is in life that is worth anything is people. The world simply exists for us to connect to each other. All the things in life that truly concern us, like tragedy, pain, anxiety, fear, and anger, only exist as a result of our relationships with other people. Yet without them, we'd be incapable of experiencing life's greatest treasure, genuine happiness. 
Now some of you may have been listening to what I've said so far and still worry about the future lying ahead. Don't worry, you're not alone. We all get so caught up in the details that we forget about what really matters, people. Other people are what make life worth living. So if you still don't know what to do with your life, spend it trying to connect with other people and making a difference in the world for their sake. Thank you, Class of 2018, and congratulations. Okay, it is now that time. Yeah, well, hey, let's go, here we go. All right, it is now my honor to introduce the president of the, of the senior class of 2018. Madam President, Nora Bowie, please come and graduate your graduates. Sawyer John Adamitis. Luz Mary Almanzar Mello. JC Alves. Benjamin Andrade. Jonah Arsenault. Rachel Lauren Azer. Anna Joan Bach. Essence Shyla Baker. Jacqueline Barron. Ashley Bartlett. Martina Barrero. <laughs> Ashley Bartlett. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kayla Marie Bateman. Sydney Berkeley. Isaac Bernstein. Alexander William Biega. Selena Bodie. Paul Bonfilio. Asia Bonnet. Quinn Michael Brewer. Romario Anthony Brown. Daisy Calle Huerta. Samuel Joseph Capobianco. Christopher Lloyd Carey. Tyler James Carpenter. Vinicius Coelho. Adriana Nicole Collins. Alex James Colcia. Andrew T. Colcia. Wait, 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 wait. 
Eugene Commander Beasley. Matthew Sears Cote. Cameron Coyne. Ryan J. Query. Abigail Ruth Kreiser. Jared Andrew Crosby. Matthew Brennan Crosby. Matthew J. Cunningham. Stephen Curran. Jacqueline DeCruz. Brianna N. Davis. Ethan Everett Davis. Madison Marie Davis. <laughs> Joseph Delancey Jr. <laughs> Taylor Marie DeLuca. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth D'Souza. Lucas Cali De Francesco Jacob Ryan Dolan Jao Drummond Brandon James Dunn Corinne L. Dupay. Jenick Duran Rodriguez. William Egan. Robert Evans Jr. Andrew Fagundes. John Robert Farrell. Cody Joseph Fay. Abigail Ann Feinstein. Tristan Vincent Fufu. Kelsey Nicole Fisk. Lucas Flores. Emily Patricia Ford. Brittany Forsyth. Anne Petrina Omura Froze. Mary Eve Gastingway. Jack Riley George. Jacqueline H. Gillis. Kismet Goldstein. Luana Rodriguez Gonzalez. Angel Gonzalez. Ashley Gray. Julia Elizabeth Green. Yeah. 
Haley Ann Marie Gregoire. Caitlin Grasso. Thomas Matthew Grotadoria. Alina Gubanova. Lauren Nicole Gustafson. Ryan Hajali. Brett R. Halloran. Donald Hand. Janelle Harvey. Mitchell James Hayes. Sincere Hebditch. Christopher Robert Heinz. Cameron D. Hennessy. Katie L. Holmes. Anthony Richard Ayakata. Jacob S. Ingram. Martine Joseph Jamiel. Bichali Jean. Irene Penelope Jones. Lily Keith. Samuel Kenny. Diana Kachikian. Elizabeth Kirby. Anna Lynn Kowalski. Paul J. Kroyak. Glenn Kuznetsov. Eric Latshaw. Dennis Liu. Kevin Liu. Jacob Henry Lombard. Samira Lewis. Marlena Kylie Lynch. Brianna M. Lind. Sawyer J. McDonald. Keelan McVeigh Fierro. Matthew Mancini. Shelby Morera Martins. Luana Arujo Matos. Was it close? Okay. Sydney Renee McCann. Jacob Thomas McCarthy. Andrew McCormick. Anastasia McDowell. Anna Grace McGaffigan. C. 
Sarah Elizabeth McGaffigan. Kalia McIntosh. Caleb Michael McPherson. Haley Meads. Molly Marie Medeiros. Kyra Mendes. Hannah Miller. Carissa M. Moore. Pablo Santos Mores. Nicholas Morera. Hanel Nikinas. Samuel David Nickerson. Xander Norcio. Alexa Nutter. Sayla Corinne O'Hearn. Andrew Palamba. Felipe Gonzalves Passos. Harsh Badrash Patel. Woodensley Paul. Jonathan E. Pecoraro. Mitchell N. Pecoraro. <clears throat> Ty Fan. Nicole Pladson. Anthony Quinn. Kevin Ralston. Shantae Robinson. Devin Robles. Danae Marie Rose Azor. Dylan Norman Ruthier. Dakota Jocelyn Rule. Alex Santos. Hugo Santos. Gabriel E. A. Silva. Alexander Smith. Julia Smith. Jasmine Marie Stacy. Shay Harrington Stanley. Derek Starling. Tara Stalker. J. 
Jared Stone. Peyton Sumner. Henry Wade Swanson. Siddhartha Tamang. Katie Elizabeth Tenazaka Kumbe. Maeve Terrio. William Lockhart Terrio. Derek Richard Thomas. Joseph D. Tierney. Alicia Kayla Travers. <laughs> Zachary Trisketa. Yoan Veras Gonzalez. Natalia Vieira. Summer Walsh. Andrew Vandebeek Weiner the third. I know, I know. <laughs> Daniela West. Kyle M. Wheeler. Jacqueline White. Gypsy Bell Whitehead drew it. Hannah Williams. Madison Wilson. Riley Austin Wood. Brittany Woods. Miranda Wu. Nora Grace Bowie. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the class of 2018. Congratulations.